Hello, everybody. Guess who I am here with? Hola. I am here with the gorgeous Rosie Mercado. Um, and I'm very excited that she's here with us today. It is 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So LA, it's pretty, it's still pretty early, mm -hmm. but um, if you're joining in, thank you. Uh, and I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so thrilled to have this beautiful woman with me today. Uh, her name is Rosie. She is a plus size model. Um, she has been, um, and I'm gonna really get your story and your background. Okay. Um, but she's a true model, um, and that's T-R-U-E. Uh, you can go to truemodel.net. Um, she's represented there, and she has this incredible story. Um, and I, again, I want her to share it with us, but she has lost over 240 pounds. 240 pounds. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and she is a well celebrated plus size model. We are going to talk today about empowerment, about, you know, even though her and I come from different backgrounds, different walks in life, we're here with the same message. It's about paying it forward, it's about um, empowering women. In men, you know, I know there's a lot of men out there, they're struggling with their weight and what have you. Um, we want to share with you. We are here for almost an hour just to talk to you and listen to your questions if you want to call in. Uh, remember that uh, a percentage of proceeds go to amazing causes like Smile Train, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So, Rosie, where are you from, Rosie? Let's just start with, like, where are you from? She's so stunning. I'm, like, oh, looking at her you. going, oh, my God. <laughs> you're so sweet. I call her goddess, oh. the goddess supreme, you know, because oh, so she's curvy. She's Latina. She's, I mean, it's just, like, she's so, you know, you you embody this goddessness. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm born in L.A., raised in Las Vegas, um, Latina. My parents are from Mexico, from Jalisco and Zacatecas, so I'm really proud of being... I love how being, you say that. <laughs> Jalisco, Zacatecas. I'm really proud of being Latina and the values that they've shown me and the way that they've raised me and just, you know, just being who I am. Um, a lot of my background, you know, has made me who I am today. So I'm just really excited about that. First of all, I want to say thank you for having me here. Oh, I gosh. think this is amazing that you're doing this, and I think yeah. it's wonderful that you could use your voice to contribute and not only empower, but really make a difference in other people's lives. If you make a difference in one person, then just you are one living with purpose. And that's what, yeah. if you could get away and out I of agree. yourself, um, I think that's really what life is about. So I'm really not only blessed, but honored to be here. So thank you for that. Thank you. But I also, let's thank Bid Chat because Bid Chat gives you an opportunity, people like us, to have a voice, to give voice to people who don't have a voice, to people who are struggling. You know, this show is about beauty and, um, you know, it's, it's called Red Carpet Secrets, but it's really more than that. It's about your inner beauty because, you know, you have to realize that we're all different. Mm -hmm. We're all unique. We all come from different, you know, backgrounds and shapes and sizes and colors and you know creeds and it doesn't matter you, you we're going to talk about beauty and what that really means um from the inside and how to pay it forward um and i want to say thank you to bid chat really quickly there's a guy named darren thank you darren thank you for, darren. <laughs> I, i'm not going to say his last name because i don't want people to stalk him he's kind of cute oh, oh hello uh, darren hello darren uh but he's um, also I'm single ready to mingle if you like latinas <laughs> Did I just say that? I did just say you that. Did just, you did just say um, that, so watch Hello, that. handsome. Uh, but anyway, he's helped me so much in kind of getting my show off the air. Darren, you're a dream. So if you're listening, I love you. And I don't even know you, but you're great. So anyway, so um, back to the show. So we're talking with Rosie. For people just tuning in, I see the viewers starting to come in. Uh, we're talking to Rosie Mercado. Uh, huge social media following. My God, you reach almost two million people. Yes, two million people. Yes, really, um, really good to be able to reach yes, that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because you know why? Because she's authentic and she's real. And when you hear her story and you hear what she has to say, um, you're just going to fall in love with her, and you're going to be following her too. So, okay, you're Latina. You come from Mexico. Uh, viva, viva la Mexico. Right? Did I say that <laughs> viva right? Mexico. Be viva Mexico. Girl, you thinking I'm French? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to help me because my Spanish, my French, all that is a disaster. It's okay. I've dated Frenchmen. Frenchmen are amazing. So They are. They, they are. are. Is your I husband had... French? No. He's but not? I had... No. Oh, but you've dated Frenchmen. Dated Frenchmen. Frenchmen. Yes. Yeah, they're amazing. Uh, but we, we'll, we'll, we won't go there right now. That's another show. Uh, but anyway, so I want to hear really how did you get into modeling, first of all? Like, okay, here you are, this, this gorgeous 
woman who was struggling with their weight. Um, do you want to talk about that first and then go into the whole modeling I story? I will talk about whatever you want to talk um, about. You know, because you, I mean, you, you've got such, so many things going on. You're a mom. Yes, yes I, I'm a single know. mom. You've got uh, how many children? Three I have children? three kids, 16, you... almost nine and 10. So yeah, my hands full. Yeah. Um, a single mom have been... I got divorced about nine years ago, um, just broke off a current relationship that I was in, very mm -hmm. short-lived, mm -hmm. um, but it was, it's been, it's definitely been a journey because between being a single mom, being in and out of a relationship, and then at the same time going after your dreams and your career, you have to find balance, and sometimes that mm -hmm. can be a little bit chaotic to balance everything out. Right, right. Um, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the, the happiness comes in when you do, when you have fulfillment in your life. So my kids have seen me lose weight, they've seen me gain weight, they've seen me divorce, they've seen me mm -hmm. in out of a relationship, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and they've seen me get up, get down, go after my dreams, accomplish, be successful in certain areas, mm -hmm. but that's a great thing, though, and I think oh, yeah. sometimes as moms, we are so hard on ourselves to say, oh, yeah. everything has to be right. No, everything does not have to be right. No. Not perfect. Perfection doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. The great lesson behind that is that your kids will grow up saying, I saw my mom get up. I saw my mom fall down, but she never gave up. And that's the biggest lesson that yeah. you can leave to your kids when you're no longer here. That life will happen, but you have to have that strength to keep going, not become a victim. But right. just keep going and say, what can I learn from this and how can I become a better human being? Yeah, because we all fall down. We all have those days and those times in our lives where things are not going perfectly. That's actually part of life. And like you said, our children need to see that there are going to be those times of uh, trials and tribulations, and then how you deal with them. I think that's the most important thing. You know, yeah. pick yourself up and keep going. Keep going with your dreams. You certainly have lived your dreams. Um, I want because I know that. What came first? Did the modeling come first and then the weight loss, or the weight loss and then the modeling? No, the modeling came first. So I mm -hmm. I got invited by Miss Plus America to join in after my divorce. I had a really bad divorce. I mean, Aww. everything that could possibly happen hit rock bottom. Yeah. Um, got diagnosed with a cyst in my brain. Then my son got diagnosed, you know, with mild cerebral palsy that he would yeah. live to the age of five. With They were completely wrong. Thank God. That's Thank my miracle God. son. Mm -hmm. Um, just everything just really hit rock bottom. I was at my heaviest, 410 pounds. I fluctuated between 410, 420. Four 410 pounds and four, yeah, between 410 pounds, 420 oh as God. the jaw drops. I saw yeah. you was like, wow. Wow. Okay. Um, so I fluctuated between that. Um, I was not very happy. Uh, I hit rock bottom and you can't, once you hit rock bottom, you hit rock bottom. So it was really trying to find myself after divorce. I was, you know, the dream was to be like my parents, get married, have a family, own a business with my husband and, and be happy. Mm -hmm. And that's always been... You know, I've seen them be so, you know, be successful in their relationship and, and their business. And I went, that's, that was the aspiration behind it. So um, that didn't work out. And I got an invite to Miss Plus America. They invited me to participate, plus size pageants. Didn't know anything about pageantry. Didn't, didn't know, know anything. anything about I was like, you know what? I've never done that. Let me do that. Let me try Talk that. Talk about diving in and taking a risk. I know nothing about what I'm getting into, but I'm going to go for it. You know I what? Love that. Tony Robbins says yeah. you got to submerge yourself into something. When submerge. You get, just, just get in there. Just go in there. That's the way you learn. That's the way you take everything yeah, in. So right, right, right. Um, I'm a big Tony Robbins fan. Oh, um, good. Mm -hmm. So I went in and I won Cover Girl. I won People's Choice. Wow. I won Runway Model of the Year. You know, I just won, I racked up a whole bunch of awards, but I did not win the National Crown. And it just showed me what I loved, what I was capable of doing, but also gave me the opportunity that that year National Geographic was there filming. Mm -hmm. So they followed my story and it went out worldwide on Taboo. And that just really opened the doors into what I call my career now, which is plus size modeling and TV, and just really showed me who I am, what I'm capable of, and I said, I like this, I yes. love this, I fell in love with that, and I just knew that that's part of, between that and the celebrity interviews and celebrity makeup and mm -hmm. all that, I just really found who I was, my talents, and what I absolutely was passionate about. Right. Oh, by the way, she's a makeup artist. You can see how her makeup is perfection. Oh, you're so good. Thank <laughs> it's you. It's absolutely perfection. You're going to have to give me some pointers and also some of the viewers' pointers as well. Um, so you're a mom. You are a makeup artist. You are a celebrity TV host. Um, you are a beautiful Latina woman. Um, anything else I'm missing? A curvy plus size model, curvy model with ah, true. I'm just uh, a free spirit. I'm in love just, with life. Just, um, people don't oh. understand. So I've lost 240 pounds, but I, I feel like I'm really living for the first time so many experiences. I feel like a teenager, oh, which is like dating and just yeah. zip lining and going out with my kids and having fun and concerts and festivals and modeling and being mm -hmm. on TV and hosting. Like 
this is like me being a kid and just it's yeah. a new area in my life and I cannot I'm so excited I don't want to sleep because life is so exciting right now there's so many new experiences that I've never had in my life and I'm just I'm so grateful that I made that choice I transformed my life and it's not about being a size zero which everybody equates diet and weight loss with being a size zero and it's never about mm. that it's about finding your own happy your own freedom quality life mm -hmm. and just finding that place where you're happy and understanding why you did it and it always has to at the end of the day it has to be about you and you have to understand the people that you impact around you, which is the people that you love. Right. And it's it's so important to understand that um, taking care of you, you, as you take care of you, you are also helping and taking care of yes. others, correct? So, and, and that's one of my mottos, like put the os oxygen mask on first before assisting others uh, because you have to feel good, and especially with taking care of children and what, ha what have you. And, and I, I love the fact that you have given them so much they must, must be so proud of you uh, you know it's nice to be so proud oh of you because it's like my mom look at my mom on tv look at my mom she lost all that weight yeah it's like oh my god how amazing you and know, it makes them feel like they can do anything and accomplish their dreams right i so, got good kids i mean mm -hmm. you know they're not perfect i got really good kids i yeah. love them um, I don't think you ever have a perfect kid, but you know, it's it's a great mm -hmm. feeling when your kid, a kid could come around you and actually hug you and put their arms around your oh, waist yeah. um, and say, wow, mom, you, you're so small, you lost a lot of weight. And not only that, oh. to see my son go out and play basketball and just, you know, to see them active and trying new things, things that, you know, I didn't grow up with just because, you know, my poor choices, that's what it comes down to. It has nobody else's, but it was my own, my life is my responsibility. It just, I didn't make proper choices, so I'm happy that, they have an opportunity to grow up actually being kids and, and making those choices and being able to be part of things and new experiences. Right, and, you right. know, I'm so proud of my daughter. My daughter's a plus-size girl. She's cheerleading SLC, Student Leadership Program. Wow. You know, she's, she's treasure. Mm -hmm. She's doing all these things in school. And mm -hmm. to see her just go after and, and say, blossom. you know what, that's not, my size does not determine my destiny, but I am going to be healthy, even though yes. I'm plus-size. Yeah. Make healthy choices for myself and have new experiences, travel and contribute. And right. I see that in my daughter, and I just, she's a beautiful human being who wants to be a psychologist. And that's mm -hmm. where you see, like, you know what, I'm, it's not that bad. I was really hard on myself. I didn't think I was a good parent being a single mom. Oh and just seeing that, you know what, nothing's yeah. perfect, but whatever they can learn from me, then that's a mm -hmm. lesson to be learned and just give them lots of love. Yeah, absolutely. That's all you can do and hope that they grow up to be wonderful human beings. Yeah. <laughs> I have a seven-year-old, so I know it's it's tough being a mom and trying to juggle all this stuff. Um, and so I want to hear more about your weight loss. Like, you had gained this weight, um, and I'm sure a lot of the viewers want to hear this incredible story. I mean, um, you were up to 4'10", 4'20", um, you lost 240 pounds. You're healthy now. I mean, you look stunning. Um, and, you know, we don't have to be a size zero to be beautiful, and, and we could be any size. And yes. if we're healthy, that's – and I love your, your T-shirt, the healthy is the new skinny. It's yes. about being healthy, not following media's trends and all this other stuff. It's about really finding your own comfortable weight and, and just being comfortable in your own skin. Um, I want to know how did you, first of all, gain that – I'm sure the viewers want to know as well – how did you gain that kind of weight and then – what was your journey to, to lose the weight? You know, when it comes to weight gain, people assume that you eat a crazy amount of food and you don't eat healthy. And obviously, you don't eat healthy to have that kind of weight. But um, when it comes down to it, when 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 I got that big, and this is my personal story, everybody's mm -hmm. different. So Everyone's I can't say different. Everybody's different. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for other people. I can speak for myself. Um, it's it's a sense of depression. It's a sense of of not taking care of myself because I'm I'm unhappy and not eating properly, not having activity, um, being closed off to the world. It was really so. Me losing the weight was not just about losing the weight, but it was really about letting go of the past, what didn't serve me, um, understanding that life happens and that I had no control over certain situations, and just really being able to heal myself. And as I healed, I let go, and and I and I understood how important I was. Um, and how important it was to take care of myself. So it was really when I hit rock bottom there, just everything just came tumbling down. My weight was was crazy, diagnosed with a cyst. My son being, you know, mm -hmm. having a diagnosis of, of not living so after painful. five. It's so painful. It's so, so painful. I am an emotional eater, and I acknowledge yeah. that. So now I pay attention to what I eat. Why? Am I eating because I'm hungry, or am I eating out of emotion? Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, just being an emotional eater. But, you know, then, then thankfully my father just really, he's all about self-help and, investing in yourself and, and not only taking care of yourself but really taking care of yourself from the inside you know mm -hmm. out and 
um, investing. He's like, you have to invest in yourself to grow. If you're not right. growing, you're decaying. And right. he's like, you constantly have to be in a mode of learning. How can you learn? How can you become better? You're not perfect. You're, you're not, not perfect. You're not perfect. That's the message. That's you're the not perfect. perfect. You're not perfect. And, and it's okay. With that. It's okay. That's <laughs> right. Life beat is, ourselves up. Oh my god, that. and that's my so god. exhausting. I know that is so exhausting. Yeah. I can tell you that um, from the last couple of weeks, how mm. making one poor decision, you could beat yourself up and be guilty. But no, the thing is, that doesn't do that. serve your life. You you obtain nothing from beating yourself up. What you, I think, a better question is, better primary question is, what can I learn from that, and how can I become better, and not repeat the same pattern again? Right. I think that's a better question instead of saying, why did I do that? You know, and then beat yourself I'm horrible. Oh, I was you, horrible. Oh, I was so stupid. And then, oh, it's that, a spiral. It's a spiral. Yeah. That negative chatter, and you know, it's our inside voice that really screws us up. Yeah. And you start listening to that. But, you know, I went to Tony Robbins. I went to his university. I walked on fire with Oprah. I oh, jumped off a, a pole. Amazing. I went to Fiji. <laughs> I went to London. I started traveling and just really educating myself, obtaining all these new experiences. And I'm grateful for that because it made me snap. And it like kind of woke you up to say, wow, was, there's so much more to life than me just feeling down. Like, let me bring myself up. Right? Well, it woke me up to say, oh my yeah. God, I'm missing out and living life. I'm just a spectator. Right. And I'm watching everybody enjoy life. And I'm here sitting at home because I'm too afraid to create change in my life. And I don't get to experience going to the movies or getting on a bike. And that's because of my poor decisions. Nobody right. else. I take responsibility mm -hmm. for my life. Um, I love what Oprah says. Oprah says that life will throw mm -hmm. a little pebble. And right, then right, right. throw a rock. Right. And then it'll throw a brick. Right. And then it'll just come and just throw a whole piece of cement on you and boom, tip you over. Uh, and that's the way that life kept, you know, tries to grab your attention to right. say, wake up. I have to just interject. I think her friend is here. You know, part of being a celebrity and a famous uh, <laughs> beauty and goddess, uh, you have lots of fans. And one of her fans just showed up. I'm. You talk to our little guest. I'm going to go get him. Hold on. <laughs> you talk to our friend. Okay, wonderful. Hello. hello, you guys. Okay, so I know people are tuning in. I see that there's viewers there. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, so I was saying that Oprah got that message out, and I think that's one that resonates with me. Um, but the most important part of everything is not beating yourself up for, for bad choices because we will make bad choices, but the best thing you could do is just learn from them and always ask yourself, well, what can I learn from this and how can I make this better and not repeat this again in the future. And I think that is the wisdom that we attain from what we call negative experiences and then giving it a different value, understanding that life's going to happen, that perfection does not exist and problems will happen. And they happen for a reason. I think it's life putting you exactly where you're meant to be on that right path. And um, when those problems happen, it's kind of like a wake-up call to say, wake up, you're going the wrong direction. Let's redirect. Redirect that GPS to where you're supposed to be. Um, with that said, uh, she's coming back in. She went to go get Don, one of my good friends from L.A. Is he here? He's here. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> Come on in. You can join the party. Sorry, guys. Um, she had a. She has a. a, a you who he yeah, is. He's, he's, he just came in to kind of say hi. Oh my and, God! Don and I went to <laughs> class together at Become a Host out in LA. Don, where are you? Come on in here. Oh say hi. my God! Come over here. Come Part here. of being a celebrity ah, famous goddess God. is that. You get oh, producers and directors and oh my goodness, I'm not uh, all these ready. people. You're, oh, well, okay. it doesn't matter if you're not camera ready. Join the party. Oh my you know, God. just come in and just say hi. Um, hi. You know, oops. Oh, I brought oh. everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the life of like when, when you, you reach the big time. <laughs> So it's sweet. insanity. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, we were talking to her about, you know, just everything she's been gone, going through, her journey, um, everything that this this amazing woman has, has been talking to our viewers about. Um, so did I miss anything while I was gone? I know you were talking no, about Oprah. No, I wrapped up that about yeah. Oprah. But let me say, this is Don Nash. We yeah. met years ago yeah. at years. Become a Host out in L.A. I was at a hosting boot camp because I wanted to become a host and I wanted to learn everything. Mm -hmm. And we connected, amazing human being. We stayed connected throughout the years. But we never get <laughs> to see each other because we're always in different cities. Right. For the first time, we're in the same city. Right. Wait, wait, you're both in the New York City we're together. We're both in New York. And I was like, you're here, I'm here. We have to yeah. see each other. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> so we're doing a big shout out from New York, guys. Yes, NYC baby. But you, do you live here or you're? You I'm live between in LA? LA and New York. 
So okay. Michael still. Yeah. Oh, you are Michael. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm learning this He's right bad. now. Oh, excuse He's me. You gotta keep up. You gotta keep up. <laughs> I gotta keep up. I mean, you've been busy. So <laughs> amazing. Look how great she looks. I know. <laughs> she, she's. You. I mean, she looks amazing. But um, anyway, we're gonna because so many viewers want to hear her story. So she was just telling us about you know choices that she was made. You know, because she had gained some weight. So how did you you know go from you know that weight gain and then waking up one day you hit rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And then going, okay, now I've got to make some choices in my life. And what were the choices to make, To you look so stunning. <laughs> and, and what did you do? Because I know our viewers want to hear this. So like, okay, what did this, and they're rooting for you. They want to hear oh your story. Oh my God. Well, Doc, yeah. you met me when I was really, really big. Remember when I was going to become a host? And right. you're like, just keep going, do you? Like, he was yeah. super supportive. Um, but after, awesome. after You need supportive head. people. This I'm just going to inter interject. If you have people in your life that are bringing you down, that are negative, and you guys can attest it, tell them bye-bye. I mean, really, because you need, when you're going through this kind of journeys, you need people to bring you up, 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 mm -hmm. not down, down, down. They need to be supportive. They need to be helped. They have to know that there's going to be good days and bad days, and, and to really be there for you, to have your back. So you and gotta get rid of toxic were, people. Yeah, gotta get, get rid, rid of, of them. toxic people. Um, when I met him, I was I was I was going I was going to become a host. I was barely signing contracts to be on a reality show. I was going through that process. He was very supportive. He was one of the people there that did not judge me because of my weight. Um, I was a bit That's insecure awesome. because of that. Um, because going into TV, you're so much judged by the way that you look. That's just that's just the reality of it. I know. Um, and after that, I had an aha moment when I got signed to do the reality show for Nouveau TV. Oh, tell us about their. It's called was called. Uh, it was called Curvy Girls. Curvy I was Girls, the only right. model on there that was not signed with an agency, and oh. they were capturing my weight loss and just the struggles of trying to get into an agency as a plus size model. Right. And I get on a plane to come to New York, red eye, and someone runs up to me and says, in front of everybody, when I'm ready to board, you want to get on the plane, you need to purchase a second seat. You don't fit on the second seat. And I no. I just stared because some people were laughing. Wow. Other people were like, that was harsh. But he was not nice about it. And wow. I started crying. I paid for the second seat because I had to get to New York. But then I go sit and then they put this little like sign like the seat is reserved right next to me. So people were like, can I sit there? Oh, no, it's reserved. Like, who's sitting there? They're like, oh, no, she purchased a second seat. So it was just embarrassing. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was just embarrassing to go through that. So I had four and a half hours of a flight. To really think about, is this how I want my life to be? And I said, no, there's too much that I'm missing. This mm -hmm. is not worth it. I have to change. And I'm thankful for that moment. I'm thankful for that embarrassing moment because it, it switched. And I give it a different value. I'm thankful because it's turned my life around. And now I'm living with purpose. I'm living with vitality, a lot more energy. And I'm just able to do a lot of things that I wasn't able to do before. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so you just, what did you, did you just start eating differently? Did you, um, what were some of the things you can share with the viewers that, you know, that was like kind of a wake up call. Um, it, I'm sure it was devastating. It was hurtful and painful, yeah. but what was a wake up call to say, you know what, now here's my choices. Now I'm going to start doing X, Y, Z. Yeah. What, what it was all things? about Zumba. It was about dancing. It Zumba. Was about oh yeah. Um, it was about boot camp. I met Justin Blum out in Vegas, an amazing trainer, and he took me in and he just helped me push forward. He put a, a meal plan together every three hours, meal prepping, eating high proteins, mm. no carbs, just lots of vegetables. And I was really like, it was just really go-go every three hours, mm -hmm. um, carb cycle every three days, lots of water, no fast food. It was really about 80% of what I ate and the other 20% was about working out and getting active. Mm -hmm. It was about get your ass going and move and right. really acknowledge what you're eating. Mm -hmm. And I did that and it helped me and I got down to 100, you know, I, I lost 100 pounds and then I started gaining, I was like, oh, I lost 100 pounds and then you get comfortable and, and then I started gaining yeah. about 20 pounds I started <laughs> eating mm -hmm. and I was like, oh no, I'm not going back. Yeah. I'm not going back. Mm -hmm. And I saw a documentary on the gastric sleeve by an amazing um, correspondent on Univision. Her name is Maria Antonieta. She is an amazing human being, and I got to meet her. Um, and I said, I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I'm not going back to my old life. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that. And I went, and I paid cash, and I got my gastric sleeve done in Vegas um, by Dr. Hannah. And I was like, Dr. Hannah, I'm doing this. And he's like, you're like, you're doing this. You know, it takes a while for it. Sure. So I was like, no, I'm paying cash. I'm doing this now. You just were dedicated. I was you dedicated. Were like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not going over back. this. I'm not I'm going back. No. You know, that was like a defining moment. Yeah, wow. it was a defining moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go under the knife. People say that that's like the easy way out. It's not. Mm -hmm. No. Getting it's surgery painful. is not the easy way out. Yeah. It wasn't painful, but when you wake up and you know that you, you can barely take sips of water and you feel so full, you're like, 
oh my god, I really, really did this. Yeah, you know, we did this. It's done. And yeah, it's done. And being on liquids for like a one month. So it doesn't. You're not. You don't have pain afterwards. No, you I don't mean, have pain. It's mm -hmm. just the transition that you can't eat. Like yeah. you're on liquids and you get so full with so little, and you're like, this is different. And then your energy is like up and down because it's a new lifestyle, and then you transition into food little by little. But your portions are really small, mm -hmm. and I'm mm -hmm. thankful for that because I don't have cravings. It was just it was a blessing, but it was not the cure all. Like when it comes to it, you go back to eating food. You're still in small portions, but you could eat the crappiest food and gain weight, right. or you choose to eat healthy. So it's a lifestyle change. It's really I think people don't realize it is a lifestyle change, yeah. isn't it? It's not just a quick fix. It's not a one time thing. It's really kind of trying to understand that it is a lifestyle to to really. Um, be mindful, I guess, of, of what you're eating and, yeah. and making um, healthy choices. I just want to make uh, a mention out there to everybody that's watching. Um, if you want to call in and ask this gorgeous goddess any questions, feel free. We're here to answer any questions that you have. And also, if you want to answer some questions <laughs> about just what being are you doing now? fabulous. You from, yes, what are you doing now? This you guy is like, like a, a rock star. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Um, so if you want to call in and just ask us any questions, you get five minutes to talk to either one. We just want to put that out there. Um, if, and if anybody calls in, you get um, a free bottle of uh, Dr. Nona lotion. Um, it's a beautiful lotion, body lotion. Um, I'm just going to give it out as a free gift to everybody who calls in. So just wanted to put that out there. So tell us what you yeah, do. Yeah, tell us what you're doing. So that are you like, our yeah, viewers know that. You're by Coastal. Yeah, yeah I'm by Coastal, yeah. Yeah, business brought me back and forth to New York because I do corporate yeah. coaching as well. Oh, okay. Um, as well as hosting, so that's why I'm here. You're that's like how a we coach. met. That's like how I met. I'm a corporate coach, coach exactly. Oh, like a life coach, okay. a corporate coach. And, for um, TV, for people who want to be on TV. Well, and even for people in the corporate sector, I have a lot yeah. of constant. What brings me to New York is the financial industry. Okay. So I work in that because there's a lot of folk in that industry that need coaching. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, yes. so I do that. But then personally, I just find such a passion. And Rosie yeah. and I, when we met, we just, we clicked, you know? Yeah. And what you don't know is that I've been watching you through this entire journey like and on a really regular grow. basis. But really? not only that, I would take, literally, I would like screenshot your before and your after photos and I would send them to friends who are actually struggling with it and say, oh look God. at my friend and look at what she's doing. Look what she's Because everyone would always say, oh my God, she's so beautiful, she's so beautiful, she's so beautiful. But then people look at the journey and they think, well, this is, the if this is possible yeah. for Rosie, maybe it's possible for me. Right. You know, so you, there are so many people that you don't know, Rosie, that mm -hmm. are watching you and are being encouraged. I even had a friend that decided to do the sleeve you know, oh, as wow. a process of this. So yeah, so, wow, so wow. yeah, you touch people everywhere. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about, I mean, especially being in TV and you've known like hosting mm -hmm. and stuff like that, we constantly get judged by our body. Mm -hmm. What do you think that we could do to really change that dynamic? Because there's so much, right. there's so much media, there's so much social media pressure to be a certain way, look a certain way. What are your thoughts on that? Especially because you're a life coach. Yeah. I think it's important to be yourself. I think you only have you. Yourself. That's what I you mean, come with. Yeah, she's a perfect example. Perfect. You're just yourself. Uh, you're not a perfect your size, perfect this, perfect that. You know, you say, I am what I am. And it shows in all your social media. You're yes. authentic. You're real. You speak the truth. You're not afraid to tell your journey and your story. And I think that captures people's hearts, it don't did. It, you? It captured my heart. I mean, yeah. she, you shared a lot of things with me when I first met you that you had gone through and things that just kind of contributed to the weight gain in life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and that transparency was so encouraging to me. Right. And then, as you said, she's a, you're a great poster child for this, if, right. if I could use that term, simply because when you were at your biggest, you were nonetheless a Rosie Mercado. I mean, <laughs> And she was still the you, same old. You were all of that yeah, and then some. She was yeah. loving. She was giving. She yeah. was beautiful. She cared about herself. She never stopped. She was always going to encourage someone. And her dreams were still her dreams. Right. And I even saw that with respect to the way she deals with her, with your family. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I think that's what you bring. So what I would say to people who've been here is be yourself in the industry. Be yourself because that's all yes. that you have. Yes. And there's nothing about you that's abnormal. It's just your journey. It's your story. And tell it like Rosie told hers, because we're all applauding at that thing, right? Right, right. Thank right. you. And Thank I you. think the more authentic, the more vulnerable, the more real you are, people then go, "My God, I, you know, I'm going through this," and it, and it, they don't feel alone. You know, people say, you know, and even when I tell my my journey, or you know, I have some guests on, then people don't feel alone. They yeah. know they're going through the same struggles, and you know, they're like, "Wow," you know, it, it's it's not something that's just. I, you know, it's personal to me. It's like we all go through these struggles. We, we all go through these 
difficult times. Um, and it's just how you deal with them. And I remember earlier yeah. on watching you work out and you would do the workout videos, like you would show yourself yeah. in pictures. Yeah, baby. And I thought, okay, there it is. She is pushing through. Look I, at it. Go, I Rosie. Push, oh my go. God. <laughs> Even just a little, um, we were just doing a little blurb on like FaceTime or whatever. We had the music going, and that girl was like, Woo! Yeah. I mean, you know, it's the Latin energy. thing, too. You know, life is it's really her energy, energy and it's her beauty that's shining through. One mm -hmm. thing that I love that Tony Robbins, that I I, I, I grabbed that from Tony Robbins, is right. that he gets on his rebounder, he jumps, but he jumps and he says, I have everything that I need within me now. Yes. God is providing yeah. that abundance and it surrounds me. I am powerful, I'm loving, and I'm ready to do this. And he goes, and like, yes, own it. Yes, yeah. yes, he owns it. He's rebounding. And Then you can begin to outline the steps that are necessary to let that manifest. Right. Yes. Right. I would definitely say that. Mm -hmm. Then I one. would say one. Visionary. That's visionary. Mm -hmm. One. Two, and I have not system. This is not like pre-planned, right? So I'm off the cuff. Yeah. But two, I would say that you have to be willing to commit to the action. Commitment. Mm -hmm. you got to commit to commit. it. Vision. So you put this commitment. down, even write it down, and then you just see it. So you commit. Because I write everything down, oh and then God. it makes me commit. I, I even put a date on it. I think the clarity uh, of writing I, things down yes. is important. Yes. Yes. Right, yes. right. It, it is very, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even I mean, if you read the Bible or something, right. the Bible says write the vision, make it plain, and then run yeah. swift. Uh, the resistance for most of us mm -hmm. is that you have to choose to disappear every thought, even person, mm -hmm. that would resist Resent your journey towards that yeah, yeah, like any yeah. negativity. Release. Let go. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, oh. And I use that term disappear mm -hmm. because I think that when I wake up and I feel like, oh, I don't really feel like it or today, I'm still, yeah. I'm still showing the battle of the bulge yeah. or whatever. When I'm there, then I've got to disappear that. It's yeah. the only way I can replace yeah. it with something that actually is life giving. If right. You will. Yeah. How, okay. So how do we replace a negative thought, Don? Like how mm -hmm. I went through the journey and, and I had my ups and downs, weight gain, weight loss, weight gain. I, I did the yo-yo, but the thing is that when I yo-yoed, it's because those negative thoughts appeared. Mm. And one thing that it was constant it's work for mind. me to really transform and when that negative thought came or or that that excuse not even a negative thought or that toxicity from another person of saying don't go to just just stay here Let, let's go out and eat or let's go do something mm -hmm. how do we transform that that thought in that instant how can we do it instantaneously well i think you have to first acknowledge that you believe you have the to thought. be aware of it yeah well, you gotta, at first you go oh my god that thought's coming yeah. in my head you got to be aware it's there is it negative and that's right? That's where you that you gotta start when, making when, Once you recognize that you yeah. have a propensity to be negative and to self-destruct with right. your thought life. Right, yeah. right. You know, it's when, when the thought comes, it says, oh my gosh, I'm fat, look at me. I mean, I'm looking at myself right now and I feel like I'm a little thick there, right? We think you're but, but here, thank you, right? <laughs> Very handsome. So I choose. So, so what, what we to see turn that around is different than what you're right. seeing. I yeah. see was a very handsome man. Well, I'm yeah. like that, go on, girl, go on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, but, 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 I, but, but I think even for me, differently also than you. We you beat ourselves yourself. up and so somebody's you have thinking to you're great. Yeah. You, yes. you, you have to yeah. choose to disappear it because the moment you believe the negative thought, you begin to express that negative oh. thought in your life. So mm -hmm. you bring that it resistance. Activates it. it activates itself. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think you have to disappear it. And you, as you ask the question, how do you get rid of it? It's because you, you have to recognize that there was a thought about myself that I had. That, that was not that true. That was not true. Was not, not true with that's self. It. Yeah. it was not true with something that is not, not true. real that's, that's not it's true. easy to move it's away from truth. it because constantly you know right. i'm I, I shouldn't be there right. hi right. we right. have melly oh, oh, i hi. love this girl i mean i wanted to i i got you know because melly we only got five minutes and i'm yeah. i'm so happy that you called in uh, melly is a friend of mine and this is such an amazing um this is going to be an amazing exchange Melly is in the hospital right now. Oh, no. oh Melly, um, we're sending prayers to you. Actually, you're in, um, where are you right now? I'm going to turn, you're at the Ronald McDonald house? 
Mm -hmm. She's at the Ronald McDonald's house. She had surgery. Melly now has the opposite problem that you had. She has, and I want you to tell a little bit quickly your story. Um, she can't eat. She has a paralyzed stomach. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. sorry, but she has feeding tubes that go in her arms. If she can't eat, um, she has to be fed through tubes. So, but I, what I wanted to say, and hopefully she'll call back, nothing stopped like you. What I love about her and what I love about you, two opposite types of situations, but she's not giving up her dreams. She's a model. She models for she Ronald McDonald. She looks fabulous on screen. <laughs> I mean, she's in the hospital. She looks that fabulous, but she's not giving up her dreams. No. She's got a. She's got setbacks. She's got a, a disability. She's. She does runway shows with the tubes in her arms. She doesn't that's, let anything stop her. Okay. That's amazing. And she's cool. in. She doesn't feel well, and she's in pain. But you know what? She wants. This is her dream. This is her passion. This is her vision. And she's like, I'm going for it. And she's a young woman. I mean, she's only 19, 20. Um, and, and look That's at empowering. her. You know, so Melly, empowering. if you're out there watching, mm -hmm. I commend you for doing what you're doing. Use your story to empower other people. Share your story, mm -hmm. your heartbreaks, your she's happiness. Amazing. Share it with other people because your story, you never know who you will inspire through that. And more than anything, there is ups and downs in life. That is a given. But the best thing that you know that you're doing is that you're giving it 100%. You're not You're not giving up. You're not yes. a victim. You're a victor because you're going after your dreams regardless of what the circumstances are. And you know what? If you can't do one thing, you figure out how to do it in a different way. There she is. There she is again. Yeah. Uh, so we're saying you don't stop. Nothing stops you from living your dreams. Nothing stops you. You're a model. You're doing runway shows. Um, tell us about when you do the shows. Do you, you have to have the feeding tubes in your arms? What we do is, like, um, we have me on the whole time, and then when I get in the designer clothes, we take me off the feed so I can go on the runway. Because sometimes I'll have problems with my intestine backing up, and we do not want any spills on the <laughs> designer clothing. So with that. But, yeah, it's really great. I really enjoy it, and it's yeah, just... It's, it's, it's given so many opportunities to be able to inspire others and to be able to show that you can live your life even if you have a disability or whatever is going on. Yeah, even if you have a disability, no matter what. And she has empowered so many women, again, by sharing her story. Just like, look at this beautiful goddess. She shares her story. It's like, yes, I'm out there. I'm telling it on social media, and and, and I'm vulnerable. Oops, sorry, Melly, But she's listening to yes. us, so she can hear us. Um, but it's it's telling your journey and telling your story and really it helps so many people when you're able to share your journey don't you guys agree like mm -hmm. people watch and they're like that inspires them to yeah. say oh i can live my dreams now too even though i have a disability or i'm you know have some weight gain or whatever it right. is mm. you could still live your journey and your and your joy i don't know how you feel passion. about passion but i really feel that whether you want to call it a disability or you want to call it a setback, I think it's not It's not about focusing on that and saying, mm -hmm. okay, this is going on. I know this is going on. How am I moving forward? What's the game plan? I got to take action. I got to move forward. I got to let all the excuses, all the, the negativity, all the emotions, I got to set that aside. There's no time for that. I'm alive, and as long as I'm breathing, I'm, I'm, I have purpose. Right. I mean, and that's I, the I think attitude you have to you have, You have to right? have it. I mean, when something happens that qualifies for category negative, Yes. You have to choose to use it because it has happened. Right. So right. now that it has happened, how do I live in light of it happening? Because right. resistance brings about persistence. Ooh, right? Right. Ooh I so love that. So if you that. resist Ooh. something. Oh, I love it. So Hold on. Resistance brings about, oh, brings about persistence. persistence. I love that. Right. right. <laughs> it doesn't. The choice. only way that you'll learn to have power over it. Right. Even something as simple as a headache. Every now and then I get like really bad sinus headaches. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I choose, like I, I will sit there and, and go with the throb of mm -hmm. the headache. Mm -hmm. And I'll accept the throb. I'll become one with the throb. Right. And then I can send the throb away. You can send it away. Without, I can send it away. Without doing medications and all this Without stuff. doing medications. Really? I can send it away. This is Breathing my body. Through it. Uh -huh. yes. This is my body. This is my life. And I can tell my body how I need my body to be. 
to right. express itself. Okay. And I literally, I'm in, and I do it with love. I don't do it resisting. I don't do it. Oh, there's an ugly headache. It's my headache. Right, it belongs right, right. to me. Right, right. It's mm -hmm. my body. It's my temple that's expressing this. So if oh. I can accept it, then I can send it away. And mm -hmm. I'm amazed. I mean, thank goodness I'm only sending headaches away. Yeah. But I think that, you know, we can send a whole lot of the stuff away too. Guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I love? And, and you know, I, I really think it's so important also to educate themselves. Yeah. Education is power. Mm -hmm. And if you're not growing, like I said earlier, you're, if you're not growing, you're decaying. One or the other is happening. Mm -hmm. right. And I feel that regardless of the age, sometimes we get comfortable in a relationship, we get comfortable mm -hmm. in a new job, and we stop growing. Um, it's so important for the viewers it. that are watching out there, mm -hmm. educate yourself. Whether it's YouTube University, whether it's books, <laughs> whether it's social um, media, whatever. Out people yeah. that inspire you. Empower Make sure you. that you're, thank you. <laughs> Make sure that you are educating yourself. The way that I've educated myself when I'm on the run, you guys always, do you see me down on the walking? Hey, oh, hey there's me. Hi, Hi, Hi Melly. I think I have like two minutes this time, so. Oh, you I got, got two minutes. Okay, so tell us what you wanted to tell us. You're well, saying pretty much that you can just do anything if you actually put your mind to it. And it, it takes a lot to be able to do it with the illness and stuff because maybe I'll be asleep the, the next week after the show and stuff for a good bit or I'm in the hospital like I was, but I still want to be able to do it when I can. And it's just having that determination to do it that I think is really a big thing. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it beautiful? I think, you know, I think what I love about what you said is that it takes a lot to do it. But here's the truth. You have the a lot that it takes. Yeah, yeah that's what I want to do. I want and that's amazing. I don't want to be sitting around in a bed or something. And actually, my doctors, every time I go there, they're like, how's the modeling? How's the modeling? It's really funny, but it's really great. Actually, the doctor I saw this time, she was on call. She saved my life last October when I had a stomach bleed. You had a stomach bleed? Mm -hmm. Last October, I um lost 60% of my blood. I had to have five blood transfusions. But I am sending you lots of love, lots of we healing love power, you. lots of prayers. May yeah. God just bless you and give you so grace and like favor. An angel. Yes, give you're you grace just... and favor in everything that you do. She's gonna be on mom. my show. That's too. amazing. She's gonna be on my show. And, yeah. um, me and mom were actually talking about maybe what time, mom? Uh, in the next few weeks. In the next few yeah, weeks. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to make it there. I get to see this goddess and that goddess. <laughs> If anybody out there wants to be, I mean, I'm all about like this sort of exchange, you know, to really, you know, listen to people's story. You have such a beautiful story, Melly. She's just so beautiful. She, she looks like a little, young lady. little angel. I just love, how old are you, Melly? Just tell us real quickly before you go out. What? How old are you? I'm 16. Oh. I'm going to be 17 October 14th. Oh, oh yeah. happy wow. early birthday. <laughs> So you can get a big hug for your birthday, Melly. I'll send one to you. Yeah, no. <laughs> Happy as birthday, long, Melly. Yeah. As long as we're breathing, we have purpose. Melly, you have a right. huge purpose. Never forget that. And you know what? Sending you grace and favor. Sending you healing powers and more than anything. God is taking you on a journey. And you know what? Don't look back. Just keep looking forward. Speak faith into your life. Yeah. And you know what? Keep paying it forward with sharing your story and your strength. Your the, strength is amazing. Strength. That's the inspiration. It's the strength. She's 16. The strength of this woman and her pictures on Instagram are stunning. She, I mean, you have to follow her on I'm Instagram. Gonna follow you. Her Instagram handle is um, the girl who can't eat. And so, if you go on and you follow her, her journey, um, things that she talks about, um, she really is a living angel because she's really showing us that. Me, even though you know you let, she's living her dream, she's living her purpose, she's living her mission, and her mission is to help other people, and it's just such a beautiful story. Um, but anyway, and we'll, we'll, Melly, if you want to come back on again, we're here. <laughs> uh, you can come on as many times as you want. For the viewers uh, that are watching, I do yeah. want to leave this message: educate yourself. Ways right. to educate yourself, YouTube, picking up books. I love Barnes and Noble. I love spending you my do. time there. Mm. Seminars, empowering seminars where you're going to grow. Use your talents, whatever your talents are, and you know what? Make them better. Hang around people that love life, that are willing to take risks, that are going to educate you, inspire you, and push you mm -hmm. forward. And people that I absolutely love to follow, 
Dr. Wayne Dyer, may he rest in peace. He oh, left I so much beautiful yes. knowledge yeah. and, and love and wisdom. Yeah. And he is he was a hu beautiful human being. Right. And love all his the books. Power every, of every one of them. Yes. Read every one of his books. And such a visionary. He always saw mm -hmm. the end result of his book as the beginning. And it happened. And best selling author, just a loving, compassionate human being. Tony Robbins, a yeah. powerful Ooh, huge love guy. Him. I love Tony Robbins. Did you walk so, out yes. Those? I, I did. did. Yeah. I did. I did. <laughs> You know, he's like, you're powerful. You, you can do it. You yes. can do anything. I'm checking their feet after this. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for blisters. <laughs> no, but if you could walk through hot coals, it teaches your you mind. And your mind, we yes. use you so little of our mind. Our minds are so powerful. So and powerful. you touched on that, like that vision, the visionary. I, I'm a big visualization. Uh, I do visualization where mm. I meditate and I visualize my life. Yeah. Mm. I want something. I visualize it. Because Tony Robbins says that there's really little difference between imagination and reality. Yes. You know, your brain doesn't yeah. know the difference. Is mm -hmm. that true? That or is not? very true. Wow. Um, and he says okay. that what you're seeing in your mind's eye and feeling it and smelling it and touching it and living it, reality. it makes it real. It makes you know? it energy. We it's walked on clothes today. <laughs> 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 Let's go I'm inspired on this, so that really ain't. <laughs> and then we're going to have to do your you know, back. You guys are trying to turn stuff in there. Get over, catch over. Well, there was uh, construction going on oh, across there? the street. So we <laughs> walk across rocks if we want to. You know what? I think the biggest learning experience that came from walking on, on cold, walking on fire, was mm -hmm. the mental state that you get into before oh, walking. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. also seeing the end result of saying, I'm going to get to the other side. I'm fierce here. I'm scared as hell to walk through those so scared of death. There's fear you're, there. Yeah. But learning to dance with fear and saying, I acknowledge you, but you're not going to hold me back. As I go through it, I acknowledge that you're with me. This presence is with me. But you know what? My presence is blind. My presence is desire and of, of obtaining that achievement. And that right. success is bigger than my fear. I'm mm -hmm. going through it. Mm -hmm. And to get on the other side and look like, wow. oh my God, I yeah. did that. I walked on fire. How many people could say that they walked on fire? Burning hot coals. Burning hot coals. <laughs> I you mean, see them. Did you see them I literally listen to you two ladies. I can no. do it. I feel like I can do it. Uh, yes, no, no, you could. Could. Okay. Anybody okay. can do it. Any of the listeners out there can do it. And what was so powerful for me, because you shared your story, and I'm, I'm sure you got this message from Tony as well. And I love Tony Robbins for this. He's, he's taught me I so much. Him. I have his books and all that. And I and I did his fire walk, and I've been to his seminars. That just see don't look at all the obstacles in front of you so this is what the fire walk taught me was that oh my god don't look down and go there's a fire am i gonna burn my foot am i the oh, but he's so like what just look at the finish line look at people cheering going yes yes look at the hugs you're gonna get look at the kisses and the high fives and the celebration that's gonna happen when you get to the end and yeah. that's what wow. was so powerful i was like Screw them stuff. I don't care about the clothes. I, I want to party with that group yeah. that's jumping up and down right. at the end. Who's been there and done that? I didn't even care about what was going on. And then I just walked through it and everybody just expl it explodes with joy. It remember? explodes with joy. Well, yeah, yeah. not only that, because there's tons and tons and tons of people. Right. But the thing is, I love Tony Robbins because he also uses very strong language. And I remember yes. like standing in front and I was hyperventilating. <laughs> and and I'm standing there and we got light coaches there and they're like, What are you looking at? I was like, I'm gonna burn my feet. Like, is that that's what's gonna happen exactly when you walk in? And I was like, I'm gonna burn my feet, I'm gonna burn my feet. And they're like, No, get into state. What do you see? I was like, Okay, this is what I see. This is my dream. This is where yes. I wanna go. They're like, Just fucking do it. Everybody, we're like, Just <laughs> fucking do it. Just do it. And I'm like, Oh, yes, yes, yes. And you're and I'm so like, hyped up. I'm like, All right, I, I'm gonna do this. And yeah. they're like, Just do it. What's over there? What's over there? Declare what you're gonna do and do it. Say yes and say yes and say yes. Yeah. And you're jumping up and down and you have all this fear and this. Like you have all these emotions the going through all this adrenaline, mm -hmm. and then they're like, "Go!" And I was like, "They're like, just go!" And I walk through it, and then I look back, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" I know. That when was, you turn around and you, you turn just around go, and you look and you I celebrate. Just do that? Yeah. 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 Walk through all oh, that fire. Oh my god! Wow. But also, the learning lesson with that is that sometimes we forget to celebrate our successes. Yeah. And we don't look back, and we don't look back with gratitude to say there. We look at the life, and we're like, "I still haven't accomplished this." Hold on. How about we take a moment of gratitude and celebrate everything yeah. that I've accomplished? Yeah. How about I build my spirit up and say, you know what? Yeah. You did a good job. And I and I think we do. We we negate really our accomplishments that we've already done, and we're trying to do this. And we're trying to do that. And why isn't this happening? Why? But it's like 
really celebrate also what you've already done and what you mm. have already accomplished yes. and you so have important. created. And, you know, um, and I think we beat ourselves up with why isn't this happening fast enough? Or why didn't I accomplish this, and, you know, uh, the way I wanted it's it to It's in God's you know? timing. It's as long as we're working with purpose and we have an action and right. we have we have a game plan and follow it up with action and we're scheduling and we're pushing forward and doors that are opening, we walk through them and doors are closed and we accept them with gratitude. As long as we're always living in that way, mm -hmm. everything will happen in divine timing. And if right. we can understand that, then we could just let go work, be happy, be passionate, and really enjoy the journey because we forget to enjoy the journey. Right. What yeah. are things, Don, that we could do to not yeah, He's a life coach. He's a, a lot coach. of, lot of yes. new viewers come in, so, so we're like, okay, who are these people? This is right. um, Don, Don, Nash. Nash. Don Nash. She's a life coach, and uh, this is Rosie Mercado, and she is this beautiful, uh, so many things, mom, uh, you know, a curvy model, Latina goddess. She's a coach, too. <laughs> TV host, uh, makeup artist. You can see her perfect makeup and hair mm -hmm. and eyes. Yeah. Um, I'm John Gallagher. I'm the host of Bid Chat. Um, I'm on every Tuesday and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. I have the most fabulous people on. I look for experts. I look for influencers. I look for um, people who are, um, I call them almost like light warriors because they're out sharing their story and helping people who, um, Maybe be going through the same thing. So I love, you know, people like both of you that are on. So, yes. So, sure. Josh, okay. Josh, what, you, you know, I, I love empowering, but, yeah. you know, at the same time, you are the perfect person. You are a life coach. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've learned certain things my way, but what do you think is the general formula to really, you know, it's that point where you're like, you've accomplished a lot, but you just focus and you're not grateful for How do we get into gratitude? Yeah, how do we get into that state of gratitude? Well, I think you have to know why you lack gratitude. You know, right. and a lot of times we lack gratitude because of things that have happened. Other times we lack gratitude because of things that haven't happened yet. Right. And so with that, there's a suggestion to enjoy the right nowness of life. Yeah. Present. To be present. We have to be present and right. grateful of what be we have present, right now. Be, yeah. be present to right now because the truth is whatever happened in the past is a realm of time that no longer exists. It's mm -hmm. done. Bye-bye. Right. It no longer exists. Mm -hmm. And even to worry about what's yet to come or what hasn't happened yet is to also exist in a time frame that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you've been given is the right here and the right now. And I think that when we are able to say that everything that I am, everything that I've come through, everything that I've accomplished has brought me to this moment. Right. You know? And in my, when I'm in this moment and I'm not projecting, and I'm not reflecting, right then i could actually be powerful in this moment and create something in this moment right and what you find is that everything that you have been given is designed for you to express and be fully self-expressed in the right now right mm -hmm. right and like they say the present it's a present yeah. it's a present to be in the present <laughs> yeah but so many times we're preoccupied and that robs us of our gratitude because right. we're worried about the future or we're thinking about the, the the past already happened, and, and the future's not The depression yet. of the past and the chaos of the future. Right, and, and, and we leak our power right, to right. be creative and productive in the area that we really want. so draining. Don't do that to yourself. I've done that to myself so many times, and I refuse to live in that. I, I yeah. want to live in the present and just be grateful for these opportunities. Yeah. And as we're present and grateful, we attract more of that into our lives. Right, yeah. absolutely. I think that's, that's, that's powerful. Yeah, that somebody is. said to me one time, they said, you know, when you have that attitude of gratitude, it makes your light shine even a little bit mm. more. So what, know, yeah, Dr. Like, Duane. Yeah. yeah, did he? I, maybe I read it from him. Um, but yeah, I think that you know when when we're grateful and happy, um, it puts us in a different state of, mm. of, of, of gives us that positive. Mm. State of because being. you know the, it's yeah. one thing to remember mm -hmm. that being happy and I love the fact yeah. you use that word is not based on happening. Yeah, yeah, right. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There are times yeah. when you can be in a situation that's not a happy situation, but still because you're awakened to your own happiness mm -hmm. and your own yeah. existence and you're grateful for that, right. you can be happy and be at a funeral. Right, right. Mm. You know, because it is a, a state of mind, it is a choice. It is right. not, you know, if my happiness is based on happenings, yeah. then I've now given the power to the external. Yeah, so now you're and, giving and away your power. And there's yes. so many yes. people, we're all guilty to do at some point in our lives, but if right. we could acknowledge it and be in state and be present and change it and acknowledge that, okay, I'm giving my power to this. I'm taking my power back. I am who I am and I choose. Right. I'm choosing to be happy. Then you are winning at life. You're winning. Yeah. You're winning. That's what's winning. Hashtag mm. winning. <laughs> and so I, I, I want to, because um, we're going to be wrapping up soon, but I want you to tell us a little bit your social media handles. I think that's important. Yes. Um, where can people find you or reach out to you? What if somebody has questions for you or says, you know, Rosie, can you 
you know, I'm thinking of doing this or doing that. Um, can you guide me? Uh, you know, can people reach out to you? Yes, um, absolutely. I, mm-hmm. I really believe about paying it forward, connecting yeah. dots. Um, as I open doors for myself, open doors for other people. And life is about connections, and it's about really um, not only empowering, but using your story to pay it forward, as I always say it. Mm-hmm. Um, so you guys could really contact me and connect with me via social media. I'm huge on social media. Mm-hmm. On Facebook and Instagram, Rosie Mercado, R-O-S-I-E-M-E-R-C-A-D-O. Mm-hmm. And I'm on Twitter as well. And, you know, if you have questions, you could DM me on Instagram, you could Facebook me on my fan page, and I answer everything, mm-hmm. um, you know, when it comes to questions on health and purpose right. and just living life and going after your dreams. Um, you know, I, I know what I know, and I constantly educate myself on this, and I'm constantly growing. So I'm just, I'm grateful that I am here and that I'm able to pay it forward and connect with beautiful people. You yeah. never know the stories that you get. Some you of them never are so know. Inspirational. And, and I also wanted to ask you, um, as far as like the reality shows, are you still on Curvy Girls? Curvy like, Girls is on reruns. Yeah, Curvy Girls is on reruns constantly. Can they on watch New- it? on Nuvo TV? I always see that people are like, oh, Curvy Girls is on reruns, so that's always good. Um, and I work with Univision and Telemundo, so I do a lot of beauty stuff, beauty segments and health segments. So I'm, you know, excited Telemundo. about that. Telemundo. Yeah, I mean, if you want to say that in Spanish, because there's Telemundo. a lot of, because a lot of LA. Saludos a toda mi gente <laughs> latina que está viendo ahorita. Me pueden ver on Facebook y on Instagram en Rosy Mercado y también sigan Telemundo. Y Univision está trabajando con ellos en diferentes segmentos. Eh, muy af- afortunada por tener esa oportunidad de poderlo hacer. Y pues más que nada, orgullosa de ser latina, de ser modelo talla grande. Y más que nada, alguien que, que, quiere, que quiere vivir con un propósito muy grande de poder inspirar y en demostrarles que sí se puede. Cuando uno quiere, sí se puede. It's <laughs> so beautiful. I don't know understand Good a word stuff. she said. Good I don't know if you speak Spanish. It's so sexy, though. I keep the mask. I keep the mask. Don, where can they contact you? You have yeah. so much wisdom. That's, I, I, if you want to get in touch with this um, beautiful soul, I mean, wow. I'm just blown away by you. Thank you. I, I told you. I told you it was amazing. I mean, really, I was, when she said you were coming, I was like, well, will he be part of the show? I hope he will. And she said, well, let's ask him. She's like, he's he a so, ham. Sure. <laughs> and he was so willing. So we're like so grateful. This, to see, have this you is what here, I'm talking about. You have so many pearls of wisdom, Thank you know? You. This Thank is what you. I'm talking about. When I learned a lot. You are open and authentic, and you are your true right. self. You connect with other people who are authentic Take and just wonderful. living life yes. in such a beautiful way. And that's yeah. what I love about you. You know, I, and I love that saying your vibe attracts your tribe. I really believe it. I, I mean, that. I think what you put out, because um, I just got rid of toxic people. I just did a house cleaning. I, I was like, too. I know that what, too. everyone that's jealous Dad. or this, or you can't do that, or puts uh, me down, goodness. or, you know, it's it's all about them. Do you know, it's all about them not feeling good and they're, they're you know, selfish. And, and, you know, and, and so I just, I, now I'm just attracting the most amazing people into my life now. Once I kind of cleaned out and yeah. said, you know, why you know and, I, and I pray for them. I'm like, you know what? I give you light. I send you with light and love, but I can't be around that because it's, it starts to drag me down, you yeah. know? And it, and you know, and I have to worry about my own thoughts. And like you said, I gotta, I gotta change my thoughts. And cause we all get those little voices in our head yeah. that say, you're not good enough, or you can't do that, or blah, 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 blah. And we have to change them, right? How right. many minutes does it take to kind of, because we have to change those thoughts before they <laughs> start, uh, you know, uh, you know, getting in there. It takes like a minute, right? We got to get in there. Well, to get in there, yeah, yeah. it can take a minute, but yeah. just be committed to that minute. It can be take an hour, be committed to that hour. Oh my God, I'm going to go through this video. Quote you on all these quotes that you have out there. I'm gonna quote you on all this stuff and write it in my journal. I know he's got all this wow. wisdom. Where can they contact you? Where can they contact you? I'm on social media. You can catch me at Don Nash on Facebook. You can catch me at Don's Daily Dose on Instagram oh. and Twitter. Okay. Oh. Yeah. yeah they're all the Daily, Daily Dose. Dose. Don's Daily Twitter. Dose. What's what's with Don's Daily Dose? What do you yeah. what, what, what do you what, what do you there? say? You know there? what? I just I, I walk through life and I experience life and social media gives people access to that life. Yeah. And so I just kind of want to give people access to how to live better. So. A little daily dose of something that may help you make it through the day, make it through the it. moment, make it through whatever it is you're doing. Don's yeah. daily dose. Somebody told me it sounds like a drug, but you could be high on me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to take any drugs. You could just get your daily dose <laughs> from <laughs> John right here. Yeah, and I'm yeah. really just getting hip to the Instagram. Well, not getting yeah. hip, but getting going with the Instagram. So help yeah. me lift those numbers. That, that'll make me feel better. I'll help you lift the numbers. <laughs> you know, and that's another thing. You know, I think that with Instagram, it's a great way to, you know, um, uh, Everybody kind of get to know each other and exchange the each other. The power I love of that. social media. Yeah, the power that, you know, that I like, I can reach out to you, you can reach out to me, and, you know, I can help you with your business, you can help me with what I'm doing, right. you know. Um, it's just a great way to share, and, and don't be afraid to reach out to people. I had a woman reach out to me on Instagram the other day. She says, I really want to be on QVC, 
I have a product. Can you help me? And she says, I'm just, I'm afraid. And I'm just like, oh my God, the fact that you reached out, you know, and had the courage. Yeah. Because that's another thing. A lot of women are fearful of reaching out and asking for what they you gotta want. You've got to have the courage to you ask the have the courage. what you want. And because, you are worthy. And right. And, and somebody might say no, or I don't want to help you or whatever. But at least you tried. At least you put yourself yeah. out there. At and least I don't you think asked. That, and right? you know what? If you're passionate, you shouldn't give up on the first no. You're yeah. going to get lost those before you get the yes. Oh, I got so many rejections. You you're going yeah. to learn that and yeah. you're, it's going to make you better and make your product better. And just, yeah. it, it really gives you that wisdom and strength to say, this is mine. I declare it. You might not say, not say yes right now, but I'm going to get my yes in the right time. I'm going to get yes. There's a process I have to go through and learn, Yeah. but it's preparing me for that success. Yeah. Wow. Cause like you said, universe, it's all, on it's, it's all about time. the universe. And it's yeah. interesting when you talk about the women who don't really want to reach out. I yeah. think it, it assumes that there is a community agreement amongst women that you're jealous of one another. Yeah, mm. and, and, right. And we we don't want we not we want to stop. You want to stop that. So you yeah. have to be intentional, which I, I think it's great. You said yeah. I was so happy that someone reached out. Yeah. So if you're out there, reach out and don't assume the community agreement that there's jealousy. That yeah, there's hatred, or that's somebody's envy. just gonna you know go for your dream. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. I, and I think so many women are because you know it's interesting with men. Now men will hound you like. <laughs> <laughs> Can you help me on QVC? I got to get the product on. I mean, I had a guy probably send me about 50 messages, you know, where a woman will write once or twice and be like, oh, oh my God, I'm so afraid. I, I know I'm bothering you. And I'm like, you're not bothering me. You know what I mean? I just, right. I feel like women just put yourself out there. Don't, don't be fear. And you might get rejected. We all get rejected, right? You get Every, every success story there, has a no. Oh, yeah. Yes. Everybody it, says right? no, or they say it's, you know, and it might not be right at that particular time. I've had stories where I've been on television. Um, it didn't work out. I thought, oh, these people don't like me. They'll, I'll never hear from them again. A year later, they called me. They were like, we just weren't ready at that time. We want to bring you back on. You timing. just never know. It's all timing, timing. It's all you timing. know? It's so much timing. And it's not just timing for luck to strike, but yeah. also timing to be prepared for that moment. Right, Absolutely. right, right. Absolutely. You know, there's times yeah. when we want it so bad, but we're not really prepared for the moment. But we're not ready. That spotlight, that opportunity yeah, requires something that we have yet to build and develop within ourselves. Right, right. So you gotta, much is given, much, much is expected. Yeah. Right, right. Because I think that when you are exalted in a spotlight and you don't have the characteristics, if you will, yeah. to sustain, then what you'll do is you'll expose your your, your brokenness. You'll expose your, you know, your issues if you right, will. It's just right, a spotlight right. for that. So be in your time. Stay yeah. in your lane and be in your time. Stay in your lane. Yeah. <laughs> I you love this guys, guy. It's he wonderful me. to connect with. I thank you so much for watching. I know Beach we have to go. Dawn. It's thank two thirty. You so it's, much. Oh my God, we ran a little bit over. That's okay. But um, we thank you and uh, Don. Thank you for just being like. Coming down here and sharing. And I have Don's this daily dose. for you. These Yay! are all Thank Dr. Nona skincare. Um, this is for you being on my show. Thank it's a mask. You. It's a skincare cream. It's a it's a beautiful line of Thank natural, you. all organic, no parafins, chemical free, Love organic it. skincare How is she line. Be more beautiful. I don't know. What, oh, um, you so know what? This is because I got to take care of myself. Myself. This is a spa line. She's gonna pamper herself and even be more myself. of a goddess than she already is. I always say this is a goddess personified. She just every, <laughs> when you really? see her Thank pictures you. and just everything about her, her whole being. Because not only is she beautiful, yes, physically she's gorgeous, right? right. We Thank know you. that. Thank but you. there's this heart that Equally just as beautiful inside. I feel the vibe. I mean, I feel just sitting next to her. It's this beautiful light you have, and that you want to share with others your journey. Thank you. You're a real blessing to be on. You're a blessing to be Thank on you. my show. Thank you. You guys, you remember, guys, love you. I am um, worthy. I am powerful. I am lovable. And I will obtain success. Declare those things. Declare work it. Take action. Work on yourself constantly. And you will get to where you need to be. It's all in divine timing. So you guys lots of love. Uh, see you next Tuesday, 1130 AM Eastern Standard Time. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Ciao.